Well, dear lore keepers, I can at least rest assured that you have understood, although in just a small portion, what our beloved Cindertown is and what it has to offer. You have heard the fragments of the primeval embers, listened to my ramblings about some of the Cinder citizens and got to know some of its inhabitants and even its occasional visitors. By heeding my voice, you have bear witness to the sparks of the forever fire. In these past few weeks, you have also learned about the darkness and about its pulsing beats that grow ever closer. You see, by now it has veiled most of Cindertown. My studio just as well, the smoldering stallion, the scarlet maple and every other nook and cranny there is. All except for the library of the Tenth Muse. We are all gathered here, me and all of the other inhabitants of Cindertown, for we will not flee. We would not know where to go, nor we would be at home anywhere else for that matter. As I am broadcasting this last message, my eyes look up towards the crimson moon. It is a beautiful sight to behold, and although even it seems to start being partially covered by a veil of soot, the forever fire still reflects its flickers and blazes on its surface. What will happen to us all? What fate will await us? What will happen when the final beat of darkness will be upon us? And, most importantly, what will happen to the forever fire? All wonderful questions indeed, quandaries that, although with slight variations of circumstances, we have all asked ourselves at one point or another within our lives. These last words of mine will hence go out to you, dear lore keepers, almost as a plea of sorts. Help me hence light the candle of hope, and help me kindle the embers. As the olden gods who needed men to have faith in them to exist, so does the forever fire need your faith to keep being and burning. As a great man once said, Lend me your energy, give me your hands if we be friends, and I shall restore amends. It is, after all, up to you. For now, however, this has been everything from the Chronicles of Cindertown. Here, with Ifri by my side and all the other inhabitants of our Cindered story, we wish you all the very best.